Hey, what's going on, Will Rogue Willers? Uh, welcome to the Will Rogue Will Cooking Show. I need to film a vlog for today, so yeah, I'm just making some food. I'm basically making like a platter right now. So as you can see, I got I got some cheese here, um, and I'm basically just slicing it up into cubes. You know, should be a good lunch. Got some crackers to go with it. Some um, little cherry tomatoes. I don't really like cherry tomatoes or any tomatoes. I like my sauce, but you know, my parents will eat that. <laughs> they like tomatoes though, they really suck. They actually like, they actually straight up suck. Anyway, crackers here. You like, you like some crackers? I I'll show you. Should I just this little range I've got this? Kind of like two layers. I'm trying to make it look nice and fancy. So now we'll just kind of nestle the cheese cubes into the middle of the crackers like that. Oh, spectacular, wonderful. Um, also got cooking some, um, some chicken strips, you know. This stuff, good stuff. Um, I'm hoping I don't burn them. That'd be funny though. This one time, I cooked some garlic bread, and I burnt it. That's the whole story. No, so I was like, me and the boys, probably most of the people who are going to watch this, already experienced it firsthand. We went up to Southwest Rocks, um, which is in New Wales, for like, you know, a holiday. Um, it was in mid-semester break last year, so almost 12 months ago. I guess kind of like nine months ago at this point. But we didn't really want to, you know, spend too much time. Well, I don't know. My mama was like, oh, I'll make you a lasagna to have on the first night up there. Um, and so I was like, yeah, sure. And she also gave garlic bread. And so we cooked lasagna. And then I was like, all right, I'll get the garlic bread cooking. And I just kind of chucked it in and then walked away. <laughs> and then it came back like probably like 20 minutes later and opened up the thing and smoke was billowing out. Set off a fire alarm first, first night there. And the whole thing was just charred black along the top. Um, still tasted right. You know, if you scrape the charred part, it wasn't too bad. But yeah, I'm, um, I shouldn't burn the chicken strips. I got an alarm set for 10 minutes. It says cooking for 20 minutes. So I've got an alarm for 10 minutes, you know. There's no way I burn it. So here you got some cream cheese. You like cream cheese? I bet it is stuff. And I'm going to pour some sweet chili sauce on top of it. All right. Let's get a load of this one. Oh, Pog! How much? Is that too much? I don't know. That's probably... That's probably about right. Maybe a bit more. Yeah. You still got this whole bottle. Okay, yeah. That's, that looks good. Look at that. What do you guys think of this? How's that looking so far? Pretty good? I feel like it's way too much cheese. That's okay. I like cheese. I like cheese. Um, cherry tomatoes here. Yeah, see cherry tomatoes, like, there's things that taste bad, and there's things where, like, when I eat these, I actually, like, feel like I'm having, like, a gag reflex. Like, I actually almost, like, throw up when I eat tomatoes. I don't know. But tomato sauce and tomato paste, that kind of stuff, you know? I'll leave that in. Oh, snap. That's the chicken. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let me do this. That's pretty nice. Drop too many cherry tomatoes. Let me move this over. Cheese all over the table. It's very crumbly. I didn't expect the cheese to be so crumbly. <laughs> Just wiping cheese with my hand. Definitely the best way to do it. Alright. Yeah, Mum! Yeah, I'm doing that right now. Yeah, so I'm just gonna give them the halfway point turn. Um, hey, like, let's turn my hands. They're not even hot yet. Um, you know when you like cook chips and you gotta flip them like halfway, and it's like, how do you flip like a tray covered in chips? How do you know if you've already flipped them? How do you, you know, flip the right ones that you haven't already flipped? 
It's impossible. This is inside. They're not even hot yet. But they're making it for 20 minutes. It's halfway. It's where we oil. Is that enough oil? I don't know. That'd be enough. Is that hot? That's hot. Alright. Chug them back in. This might be a long video. Also, it's Easter. Easter Friday. I think most people celebrate Easter on Sunday. But, you know, happy Easter to my viewers. Hope you're having a good day. Hope the Easter Bunny got you some, um, you know, Easter eggs. Um, now we got some carrots. I'm going to cut up some carrot sticks. Let me bring the camera around. Hey, how you going? To here. You remember this angle? Remember what we did the other day? Where is the peeler? Look, you've heard of potato peeling speedruns, but carrot peeling speedruns, that's a different monster. I mean, let me get down on my knees here. Um, see, look, when you peel a strip of carrot, look, see, you can't really tell it's peeled. Yeah, I mean, you can. I don't know what I'm saying. It makes it harder because, you know, you might go around once and then you keep going. You're like, oh, snap. Am I already done? Um, but potatoes are easier to peel. I mean, carrots are easier to peel. But I prefer peeling potatoes. There's something... Peeling is kind of, like, fun. It's, like... It's it's nice to do. So it's satisfying. I just peel a bit of my finger. That's all good. Um, when you can see, like, the skin coming off. And you know that, like, you're making progress in the world. Whereas with this, it's like, it's peeled. You can't even tell. All right, but look, what fun would it be without a little bit of speed around here? What's the time? At 10 seconds, I'll go. Oh snap. It's also hard to get a grip on it. All right, that's done. That's all the sides, now the top, bottom. Okay, that was 13 seconds. Too easy. Too easy. Can you beat my time? No one else tried to beat my time with the potato peeling. Oh, so that, I, that was already peeled. I was just getting the top part off. That doesn't count. Unless it should. I'll just like to peel the top part off rather than cut it. Um, how, how many carrots are going? I can choose enough. I'm just going to basically cut them into little carrot sticks. Ta-da! Cheese knife. Um, 